for all-time family of NASCAR. Do you believe that the Petties are the all-time family of NASCAR? Are you in or out on that? You know, even though Richard Petty has 200 career wins, even though Lee Petty, who you know, the most wins between them is two, 254, I know they got other members, but those to me are most prominent members. Um, I have to go with the Earnhardt family. I have to go out. <laughs> because we look at the Earnhardts. A lot of people think that in 2001, that when Daryl Hart Sr. died, that's when NASCAR died. Even though Jeff Gordon was still there, and I'm a huge Jeff Gordon fan, a lot of people think that's when it died. And then you, you had Junior. Junior came in. You know, he had um, so many. He had, like, maybe I think, like, I think like he had, like, 80 wins. He had, like, five championships. Oh, wait, I forgot. He only had 26. <laughs> he only had 26. And people would love him. Like, every time you talk about NASCAR, what's Junior doing? What's Junior doing? Did Junior win today? No, he plays top five, but he did all right. So, when you have a family like that who is, especially Junior, who everybody talked about him, he helped with the marketing, the PR, merchandise, helped growing the sport because of his name. I have to give it to the Earnhardts, unfortunately. So you're giving it to Dale Earnhardt Jr. because he piggybacked off of his dad's name. The because only difference is because there was a junior at the end and not a yes, senior. Yes, yes, and okay. because and because and because the the, the, the fact is, Drew Drew um, Willingham is that you know <laughs> back in the old days, I had people back who told me they said, "Well, NASCAR used to be used to be um, this and that because the, that and that and that and this." Well, look, I don't care about all that. Okay. All I know is, is that when it comes to PR, marketing, when it comes to the growth of the game, you hear the Earnhardt name first. You hear Dale Earnhardt Sr., who had a lot of wins, and then you had her Dale Earnhardt Jr., who didn't have that many. Well, now, now that those people that you've been talked to are pretty, pretty delusional, I'm going to give you my take. I am in on this. Woo! Because of if, you go you back, are. <laughs> if you go back to 1949 – that was when the first time a Petty was in NASCAR. So my man has got to put his shades on because what I'm about to say is going to be so bright, he's got to shield his eyes. Since 1949, there's been a Petty in NASCAR. Richard's father, Lee Petty, started racing in 1949. The following decade was when Richard Petty started racing and was racing up until 1992. He won seven championships over two. He won 200 races between the two of them. What did you say? They had 224 victories. And Buddy, Buddy Earnhardt, old little, old little Dale Earnhardt Sr. and little Dale Earnhardt Jr., the two of them, well, they got a little over 100. What did you say, 108 earlier? When 100, we were talking about? 100, 102, damn it. 102, my bad. So the Earnhardts have 102. Petty has, that's between father and son, the first two of the generation have 224. Now, we didn't even get further into it. There's just the top two of the family tree. Then you've got Kyle Petty, who is Richard Petty's son, who raced for for multiple decades as well. Almost won the 1992 Winston Stock Cup car, Winston Stock Car Championship, okay? And then his son, Adam Petty, was a racer who had very, very high hopes and expectations for, but then there was a tragic wreck in 2000 that, you know, he passed away from. He didn't make it. We don't know what would have happened if, if that never happened and he would have raced this entire time. He could have been what they all thought Dale Earnhardt Jr. was going to be. Oh, wait, but my bad. He had eight championships and all those things that you were talking about that didn't ever happen. That only happened if you played a NASCAR video game and you were the driver, not Dale Earnhardt <laughs> Jr., okay? So that's why I am in that the Petties are the number one family of NASCAR. You know something? Like I said, from a PR standpoint, <laughs> From a PR standpoint and all that stuff, you know, it, it's the Earnhardt. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to change my mind because back in the day, there was a man by the name of Jeff Jarrett who had a song, and I'm going to sing it for you guys. I love country music. Richard Petty is still the king. I, I hate the rap. So you know what? I'm in. Woo! I changed my mind. Oh, oh, yeah. I changed my mind. Because you know what? At the end of the day, Richard Petty's still the king. And I hate rap. That's going to be the first time in history of this show. (laughs) The first time in the history of this show where somebody has said that they were out and then they were in. They changed their mind during the topic. So, yes, I get the ultimate victory here. That's the first time you ever heard a black dude singing. (laughs) <laughs> Richard Petty, you still the king. <laughs> ah, 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 I hate 
Hey, hey, by the way, by the way, Dale Hart Jr.'s got as many wins as a, as a frozen burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Sertoba Media, where the struggle is real to be awesome.